Good day, you did it. Video log number 52. Why not show up for 52? It's even better than 50 because it's 50 plus two more. This is the Addict's Guide to Spiritual Therapy. Today we are talking about service. Living in service. Living from a place of service. Why do we do this? Because when we help... So try. Okay, I'm going to give you an exercise. Try and accomplish anything on this entire planet without people. It's really hard. You can do it, but it's really hard. Generally, when you're at work, you're going to be with people. When you're at school, you're going to be with people. Um, when you're in a social setting, you're going to be with people. If you go to the movies, you're going to be with people. So, when you live in service of people, essentially, you're living in service of yourself. Because when you reach out to help someone, no matter how small it could be, any random act of kindness, a smile, a wave, a how you doing, um, uh, can I give you a hand with that, uh, no, you go ahead, uh, let me get that for you, anything like that, that minute, that tiny, these are things that are very natural to me because I enjoy doing them, um, chivalry is something that we all have within us it's it's there to express it's part of our service the service of who we are and the more people that you go out of your way to help the more people in turn will be interested in helping you it's crazy it's the law of reciprocity it's the way the universe is built all right so, in being of service, I have to tell you that this is the most amazing movie I've ever seen. Well, it's right up there with Barbara's. Barbara's is lent out right now, and I just got this back. This is Jacques Fresco's Future by Design. He also wrote this movie, most, uh, wrote this book based on this movie. The best that money can't buy beyond politics, poverty, and war. Jock Fresco. This is what I want to dedicate the rest of my life to. Jock is a, is a genius. And I just want to read to you here. I'm just going to randomly read to you from where I am, which is at chapter 10 right now. We'll turn down the diva premel there a bit Ugh, even though we love her so much who will make the decisions throughout history the societal decision making process has gone through as an has gone through a number of changes at one time primitive tribes and their ruling chieftains and kings decided upon a set of laws beliefs and mores designed designed to support and defend the ruling Oligar oligarchies as primitive cultures joined together possibly for mutual protection the chieftains of the various tribes shared some decision making making <laughs> with the advent of nations councils were appointed to participate in decision making to prevent any one of the leaders from dominating the less privileged were not included in this process as the ruling classes imposed greater hardships on the subjects through taxation and other abuses of power, uprisings, intrigue, sabotage, and assassinations by the oppressed people who forced changes in the law, laws of the land, governing bodies were, the, were then appointed to carry out and uphold laws. Although wealthy was always bought for t political decisions. He, this this book here I'm gonna go through these are the chapters name by name I, I should have read into that one before I looked it up for you but uh, chapter one a design for the future chapter two changing values in an emerging culture chapter three language of relevance 
Chapter 4, From Superstition to Science. Chapter 5, New Fron Frontiers of Social Change. Chapter 6, The Inhumanity of a Mon Monetary-Based System, which I talk about all the time. Chapter 7, When Money Becomes Irrelevant. Yes, and I can't wait. Chapter 8, The Next Phase of, F of Evolution, Machine Intelligence, AI, Artificial Intelligence. Chapter 9, When Government Becomes Obsolete. <laughs> Chapter 10, Who Will Make the Decisions? That's the one we were just at. Chapter 11, Clean Sources of Energy. Chapter 12, Changing Human Nature. Chapter 13, Technophobia in a Cybernated, in a cybernated Age. Chapter 14, Education, Minds in the Making. Chapter 15, Cities That Think. Chapter 16, Lifestyles in the Future. Chapter 17, Future Possibilities. Chapter 18, Ocean Frontiers of Tomorrow. Chapter 19, Beyond Utopia. And Chapter 20, The Final, The Venus Project. Which, is, which this is all based on, which is um, in Miami, well, it's in Venus, Florida. That's where it, what it's named after, the Venus Project. And uh, it's an entire s system based uh, on resources and technology. And it, because the monetary system and, the go and governments have become obsolete, they are no longer necessary. We are one, we are a single, entity we are one universal whole one holistic being i am that i am that i am that i am fear feeling excited and ready feeling excited and ready that's neil donald walsh by the way i am that i am i am that I am. Everything on this planet came from one single seed. My plants are doing well. Everything's going beautifully. Oh, I'm capturing a bunch of rainwater for my plants, which I'm very excited for. So that's very cool. And uh, that's it. That's all. That's what I got for you today. So live it. Love it. Stay in service. Do something kind. Perform a random act of kind kindness for someone. Um, these are fun. These are cards that I give out. They're called smile cards. You can read that. You've just been tagged. Experiments in anonymous kindness is the name of the game, and now you're it. Someone reached out to you. Oops. Reached out with an anonymous act of kindness. Now it's your chance to do the same. Do something nice for you, for someone. Leave this card behind and keep the spirit going www.helpothers.org for more ideas, info, and inspiration. The fragrance always remains on the hand of the giver. Gandhi. Oh, the fragrance always remained on the hand that gives the rose. Pardon me. Um, check this guys out. Go check it out. www.helpothers.org Many inspirational stories and some awesome cards to hand out. That's what I got for you today. Live in service. I love you. Namaste.